Hola, year seven. So to celebrate the end of the school year, we're going to do a little bit of a Spanish quiz. So if you want to involve other people that you live with, then you can do that too. Maybe you can play against somebody else. Maybe you, if you're in contact with any friends, you can see what they think and if you can beat each other's scores or you can just do it by yourself. You can comment and let the teachers know on Google, Google Classroom through the assignment what your score is and how you did. And if there was anything that you didn't know that now you do by the end of the quiz. So let's get started. Now we've got questions one to five. I'm not going to read them all out because I'm going to let you read them yourself. Make a decision for one, two, three, four, five. What do you think the answer is? You can note it down. You don't need to submit all your answers. You can just submit what your mark was if you want to. So pause the video now, have a little go, and then we're going to go through the answers. Okay, let's go through them. There they are. Now something that you might have been surprised by is that Cristiano Ronaldo, that sounds very Spanish, doesn't it? But lots of you, if you like football, will know that he's actually Portuguese. Now they don't speak Sp Spanish in Portugal, they speak Portuguese but he does also speak Spanish. Let's move on to the next part of this round. So we've got 12 more questions. The word monarch on question 10, that's another way of saying a king or a queen. Okay, so have a little go at this one. No cheating, try and do as much as you can without checking on the internet. And we'll go through them in a sec, so pause the video now and give it a go. And there are the answers. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next round so you can give yourself a mark out of 12 for this first round round two these are 12 words that you often see in Spanish and you should have learned them all in year seven so don't worry if you've forgotten any because obviously You've not been in school for a while, most of you, but just give it a go. See if there's any you can guess. And if you need to look any up, you can, but be honest with yourself and maybe just give yourself half a mark if you've had to Google it, okay? So pause the video, give this a go now. Moving on to the answers. There they are. And you might have learned some of these words when you were in primary school. Let's, let's move on now to round three. Now, you're going to translate the name of the film or TV show back into English. So between one and 12, what do you think these TV shows or films would be called in English? Now, some of them are easier to guess than others. I think you might be able to work out number one quite easily and number five. Some of them, you might need to look up the words. So for this, it's absolutely fine if you want to open a new tab on your internet browser and through that, you can look up these words, you can use Google Translate for single words, that's okay. Or wordreference.com is a good website. That's word, 
reference.com and that's going to help you too. So now I'll pause the video and I'll just give you a moment to have a go. All right, ready to move on? Let's find out the answers. Here they are. So I wonder how many you got of these. Let your teachers know how you did. Give yourself a mark out of 12. Let's move on now. Round four. This is celebrities, famous people or characters. All you've got to do is write down the name of them. You might want to ask other people who live with you if they know any of these people. So one to 12, write down their names. When you've got them all, the first letter of their names will spell out a phrase in Spanish and you can give yourself an extra point if you get that one too. For number four, you want it to, it's the person's stage name. It's not their real name, it's the one they're known as, that they perform as and that they're famous for. She's actually got a real name, that's not the one you want, okay? And number six and eleven, to get the phrase, you're going to use their second name, the first letter of their second name. All right, so pause the video, give this a go. All right, let's go through the answers and see how you did. You can pause the video now and mark it. If you got the phrase, you'll know it was me llamo Pedro. And you'll just see there's little mistake there in the answers. For number five, that's not Emma Watson, is it? Anybody know who it was? Yep, if you knew it was Ariana Grande, you've got it. So it's me llamo Pedro. All right, let's move on. Give yourself a mark out of 12 and an extra one if you got that phrase. Me llamo Pedro. My name is Pedro. Now you can add up all of your scores. Give yourself a total mark. Let your teachers know the score that you got through Google Classroom. And I'm going to just let you know about a website. If you want to play any games over the summer, loads and really good vocab in there to practice your Spanish in a fun way. Lots of different games. It's SpanishGames.net and you can see the address there. I'm also going to try to add it to the description below um, this video. Another thing you might like to do is to practice your Spanish listening skills and listen to some great music you can look up Kevin y Carla on YouTube. So just type that in, Kevin y Carla, like I've written it on this slide. And then you will be able to listen to some really good covers of English songs that you'll recognise that are sung in Spanish. OK, and that's it. Que disfrutes de tus tan merecidas vacaciones. That means, um, I hope you really enjoy your hard-earned holidays. It's been absolutely fab teaching you on YouTube and on Google Classroom. And I hope you have a brilliant summer. And all the teachers hope to see you soon. Stay safe and stay happy. Adios.